And my next guest says don't buy into the excitement and sell the fear. According to Scott Redler, Chief Strategic Officer at T3 Trading, Scott is with us this morning. And Scott, we had a pop in futures, a flat open. We're starting to make up some lost ground right now. You're saying that this is healthier to have a lackluster reaction to this kind of jobs report than to have rallied off of it. Just a bit of a pause, because you know, Tuesday early this week, we had that massive outside reversal. Where we entered a bear market briefly. Briefly, but that was what was important. It was actually a bear trap. That was the day, short term, the bears lost control because we went below that range of 1101, popped back above it. So that was technically bullish, but the question was how far would we go? Right. So we just had three strong up days into a jobs number. So on the fourth day, you want to see a pause, you want to see digestion, you want some people actually uh, feel comfortable about buying up here and not thinking like they're chasing the market. This way you have more people committed to this move so it could last longer. A lot of people are saying the gains over the last three days were a short covering rally or at least sparked by short covering. At what point does it become something more substantive driven by real buying power? Well, that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see commitment to it. At first, shorts get squeezed. Bottom feeders come in saying, you know what, we're down a lot. We're down almost 20 percent. But then what you want to see is you want to see it hold higher. You want individuals that missed the first part of the move say, you know what, on this pullback, I'm going to buy it. So you want to see some higher lows come into place because mm -hmm. right now we've had a, a trend of lower highs, which is technically bearish. If we could break above 1190 to 1195 over the course of the next maybe four to seven sessions, we could break that trend. And then I think we could see 1250 to 1300 come the end of the fourth quarter. 1300 by the fourth quarter. Okay, but as you heard Mohammed El Arian talk about this unemployment crisis, we got confirmation that we're not in recession, but it is a slow growth recovery. How do you position for that beyond knowing when to stay out of the market and, and come it back in? How, well, what kind of sectors are you looking at? What you have to do is you have to know your time horizon. You have to know if you're willing to put money in every month for the next 10, 15, 20 years, whether you're a trader and you're looking at one to three day moves, or if you're a portfolio manager looking to position for the fourth quarter. Right now, the sectors that have been stronger, has, it's been tech. Tech's been leading. They have the cleanest balance sheets. High beta tech's been acting okay, a little bit better lately. You see some mega cap names acting better, like in Intel, uh, even a Microsoft. I think Sandus is acting better. The retail numbers were okay. The RTH, which is that group, held higher, didn't make new lows with the markets, showed me some relative strength. I think some institutions should be looking there. Mm -hmm. And you just have to really actively manage your portfolio because we've been now in a 14-year range. We were in the same spot in 1998 and 2000. 2002, 2004, and we're back at what, 1170, and it's uh, 2011. So, but there's been massive ranges. Right. And if you actively manage those ranges and you take an active approach, you could benefit from the market versus just being frustrated by it. All right, let's talk about what's going to come out next week. China reopens for trading, so you'll have the hard landing commentary come out once again. And of course, earnings kicks off as well. What are you going to be looking for on a fundamental basis from both China and earnings? Well, from, from earnings, I want to see companies not pre-announced for 2012. I don't want to see them guide too far lower. Because you saw with AMD, they cut their revenues in half. Micron did the same thing. JCPenney just came out. And they were disappointed a little bit, but it was bought. So if you see some pre-announcements or some lowered guidance and those stocks don't go down, then it's priced in. So you want to watch the earnings and you want to see how the companies react to those earnings. As far as China, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly, but I think they will have a soft landing that's a little bit above my head. And I know that in this new normal environment, you know, there are structural problems everywhere and it's gonna take a lot of time to work through them, but there's money to be made in the market if you watch it a bit closer than from standing far away. All right, thank you so much for your time. Scott Redler of T3 Trading calling for 1300 potentially by the end of the year. 1250 to 1300. All right, 1250 to 1300.